In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Word online version to configure in order to record or transcribe a lecture or meeting. So when you log on to office.com, click on Word. So this will be for before the class starts. Press blank document. And what I would suggest you do initially is just save the document and press save as and let's put in the date today's date hyphen test lecture cap that so it's important to identify the date of the lecture, whatever the lecture is about, and maybe some topic that's being studied. It's much more easier than for revision purposes. So if I press save, now we're at the start of the, now you need an internet connection in order to use the, the, the online version. That's important to note. So you have the, the your microphone connected up. My preference is for the Samsung Go mic. It significantly increases the quality of the recording. And what you would do then is you would simply, inside the Home tab, if you go over and press the down arrow and press Transcribe. So this is at the start of the class. And then you go over here and you simply press Start Recording. Leave everything else as default. So now it's recording away. The lecturer is chatting. Now, before it starts, you may get, I'm using Chrome, web browser, you may get a, you may get a, a notification popping up requesting the use of the microphone. Just allow that. And it's chat, you're recording away, so you can take your own notes. You don't need to do anything at all. Just leave, leave it recording. Um, and blah, 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 blah. There's multiple speakers there. This transcription tool will differentiate, hopefully, the different voices. So if you're recording an interview, that's that's a, a nice feature here. And so basically, when the class finishes, you press save and transcribe at the end of the class. Now, depending on the size, the, the length of the class, it may take a few minutes for it to, to transcribe everything. So there we have an, a brief outline of the recording so you can actually play back straight away or what i would recommend you do is to go down here and well this is important this is an imperative step press the down arrow on add to document and press with speakers and timestamps so here we have the recording transferred into a word document now it's very important to note that these transcription features are only as good as A, the recording, and B, the diction and clarity of the speaker. So the, if the more clear the speaker is, the better the chances of the recording accurately picking up what's been stated. And again, you can go in and make edits here and change and amend and so forth. Um, another important aspect when you're going back over revision, you might be coming down here and you might say, what did he mean at this point in time? Well, you can do two things. You can go over here and navigate down to, so let's just go down here to 22. You don't need to do anything at all. Just leave, leave it recording. Um, and blah, 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 blah. If there's multiple speakers there. This transcription. So that's basically it. You can navigate through the recording that way and then make amendments. Uh, they meant X, Y, and Z here. And basically, um, so that's that aspect. And that is basically it. So again, the same principle, making sure you have a good quality microphone. I've created the video in regards to the Samsung Go mic, which is one of the cheap and cheerful solutions. Um, and obviously you need to have your laptop. Um, and that is basically it. So that is the end of this video tutorial and thank you for watching.